The ooze are the result of human beings succumbing to infection from the t abyss virus, a T-virus variant supplied to the terrorist group Veltro. In appearance, they resemble a bloated corpse, and due to the marine nature of the mutations caused by the T-abyss virus, humans infected with it will develop traits alike to those of various forms of ocean life, such as fish and crustaceans. Their body and skeletal structure will become more malleable, their skin will secrete a slimy coating, and depending on the variant, they can also grow mandibles or claws, as well as a feeding organ used to drain blood from their prey like a leech. They move around with an awkward and unpredictable shuffling motion due to their asymmetrical mutated form, and thanks to their flexibility, they are able to navigate tight spaces a human would normally be unable to, such as through air ducts and ventilation shafts. When not looking for prey, they will seek out wet locations such as shower rooms and flooded areas. They will attack humans on sight, with some types grabbing and biting similar to their T-virus zombie cousins, while others will swing their bladed appendages, or one variant, the Tricorn, is even able to fire organic projectiles formed from bone, while another type, named the Chunk, will explode, causing serious injury to anything nearby. The ooze were encountered in 2005 by BSAA and FBC agents. Washed up on a beach near the ruined city of Terragrigia, and later aboard Veltro's three cruise ships, the Queen's Dido, Semiramis, and the flagship, the Queen Zenobia. Dispatched to find Chris Redfield and his partner Jessica Sherawat after the BSAA lost contact with them, Fellow agents Jill Valentine and Parker Luciani boarded the Queen Zenobia and soon encountered the ooze. Jill then witnessed a group of them kill FBC agent Rachel Foley, who later turned into an ooze herself and stalked them throughout the ship. Later, after managing to re-establish contact, Chris and Jessica headed for the Zenobia to help them, but they were sent to its sister ship, the Queen Semiramis, on bad intel, but then Jill and Parker repaired the Zenobia's radio tower and were able to make their location known. After making their escape from the Queen Zenobia, Jill and Chris travelled to Veltro's third ship, the Queen Dido, encountering several globsters before defeating Veltro's leader, Jack Norman. So I really liked the ooze from Resident Evil Revelations and thought they were a pretty cool enemy type and fit the series well. Something I thought was funny was how when I first played the game, and the first time I saw the standard ooze type, the first thing I thought was that it reminded me of Dr. Zoidberg. Before the developers designed the ooze, zombies were actually going to be the game's main enemies, which would have been interesting. Part of me thinks that would have been cool to see, but at the same time I do like the ooze as it was a brand new BOW type we'd not seen before. When you first see Rachel as an ooze, Jill actually refers to her as a zombie, so I wonder if maybe they recorded the dialogue before this change. That mini boss who says mayday 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 was pretty creepy as well, and when you read his diary, that reminded me very much of old school Resident Evil, which I always appreciate. Overall, I really liked the game, especially at the time as it came out not long after Resident Evil 6, and after that game, this one felt like a good return to form for the series. I think if they'd made some tweaks to it by maybe adding some puzzles, removing the scanning stuff, and separated the parts where you play as the other characters, it would have been pretty much perfect as a Resident Evil game. Hopefully they'll make a Revelations 3 someday. And I actually own two copies of this game, one on PS3, and I enjoyed it so much I bought it a second time for PS4. And I show them in my Resident Evil Games Collection video, which I'll put a video card for if you're interested in watching that. 
while doing research for this video, I found out there's actually an LPG tanker in real life named the Queen Zenobia, like the ship in this game, which I found interesting and thought was worth mentioning as a fun little bit of trivia. Thanks for checking out my video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so you don't miss out on future videos from me. And I'll see you all next time. So, it's not Chris. Thank you.